Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm here with The Bunker. It's a full motion video game that I've been waiting for for a while actually. Uh, finally made its way over to iOS, so I'm gonna give it a go. Enjoy! It's a boy. Well done. Be alone, Mum. Still be here. I'll always be here. <laughs> Haven't you forgot to say it again? <laughs> as long as I stick to the routine, I'll be safe. As long as I'll I always be here. Stay in our rooms, I'll be safe. As long as I don't go outside, I'll be safe. <laughs> Yeah, no experience. <laughs> Little. Yeah. 
experienced in many things, multiple parties. He had not been tried. Mum? Um. Radiation is just over 70 mR. That's acceptable. Bunker radiation is normal. Good. I need to choose my food first. Peaches, my favorite. So that makes 27 years, three months and 14 days of food left. I'm not really sure, he looked like he was sitting on the toilet while eating, I'm not really sure why you would choose to do that, but okay.
drawing I did for Mum. Minus 10 degrees. That's fine. I remember my mother and I made this jigsaw. A missing piece. I need to read to Mum. The fan should be set in operation as soon as the shelter is occupied and the outside doors closed. It should be closed down immediately following the attack to prevent the filters blocking due to the air following the blast wave being contaminated with dust particles both from the ground and from any falling buildings. These particles will not be radioactive. Similarly, the ventilation should be shut down when the fallout is expected. Radiation is nearly ATMR. It's increasing. Twenty-seven years, three months, and thirteen days left. We had a dreary morning's work before us, but there were no sign of any wind, and the boats had gone out and manned and the ship wrapped three or four miles around the corner of the island and up around the narrow passages to the haven behind Skeleton Island. I volunteered for one of the boats where I had Radiation is over 80 MR.
I need to find that manual. This has never happened before. My old diary. Today it is my birthday and I have had extra peaches, my favourite, and there was a candle. Mum gave me this book and some pens. Look, here are the colours. Vera sang me a ring a ring of roses. She said she was crying because she is happy. It's my birthday. And then she and PJ and Louie and Mum sang me happy birthday, but not too loud. I blew out the candle. This book is going to be my book about my friends. Today I will start a new friend. He will look like this. He will be a soldier because I have a general, but I need a bigger army. I've got a block from the map room, but I had to hide. Mr. Bishop was there. He nearly saw me. He was shouting. He says I am a waste. I think he is a waste. I will make the soldier and Mr. Churchill and Joan of Arc will tell him to fight Mr. Bishop. We had ham today. It is sort of pink and sticky. It is better than sardines, which are the worst. Mum has made my knife sharper so I can finish off doing my soldier. She says Rocky was the best at winning fights, so that's his name. I finished Rocky, so here are all my friends. need new underwear right now. Find the fuse box level 2. Find the fuse box level 2. Mum. I need to find the fuse box on level 2. Just my locker. Nothing in here but beans. I don't need the toilet right now. Nothing in here but beans. Date, 4th of July, 96. Patient's name, Vera Taylor. Patient reports headache from Monday a.m., vomiting and diarrhea Wednesday. Also cough with occasional blood. Intermittent bowel pain, increasing pain in chest, temperature fluctuating, peaks at 100.5 degrees. Blood present in feces. Conclusions. Patient showing signs of radiation sickness. 
plan. Sick base day, white blood count test, monitor. Potassium iodide, 130 milligrams orally per day for four days. Review, possible DTPA course. Notes taken by Evelyn Jones. Blood. The map lights up if there's a leak. It's locked. It's locked. Where's the key? Some of my old drawings. And I've taken the spoil supplies off and, and spit it out. Up. 14 months, at best. If we carry on as we are, eight months. But I, I've gone over it with Dr. Hart. On bare minimum, we might make 14. And bare minimum means? I didn't like to press him, but scurvy, rickets. Christ. Ben. Then we all just withered away to skin and bone. Maybe I should have just left the hatch open and gone for a nice stroll in the fresh air instead. What do we do? 
We tell people everything's all right. It's not all right. One whiff of this and you'll have your throat slit over the last tin of peaches. Is that the way you want to die, Sam? Fighting over scraps? We could just cut your wrist now and the rest of us will split your rations. Chin up, man. It's ten minutes until the next bulletin. Communication from Bunker HQ, Site 3, Corsham, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. 4,013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in. Shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space, living accommodation, maintenance areas and workshops. How big is that place? Trust me, you get sent to this sardine tin. Prime Minister unsatisfied with living accommodation. Twat. Other. Civilian casualties noted outside bunker. Group of 50 attempted to breach rear exit blast door. Aggressive action not required. Activity ceased after blast. Poor bastards.
With the greatest respect, sir, we've been up all night. It's been 10 minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is I've... it radiation I don't sickness? know yet. The nearest proper lab is under 10 tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. <sighs> we'll run some tests, Mr. Bishop. Is anyone else showing signs? Yes, six others. Quarantine them right away. Find out where they were working, what they've had contact with, and what they've been eating. We need a source. Margaret. It's all right, come here, love. What's the matter? I can't sleep. It's all right. You know, if you stay in your room, you'll be safe. I'll be a bit of tick. I don't like it here. There's nothing I need here. Attention, the mains power is about to be switched off for maintenance purposes. I don't like it here. Well, let's say, for example, the hit on Reading was one megaton. That would mean we have this radius, only halfway to Basingstoke. Now, maybe that looks small, but that's around 100,000 fatalities. Maybe 80,000 injuries from the blast and the fireball. That's just to start with. Prevailing wind direction here is northeast. Fallout scatter would be huge. It's likely to drift all the way out past Cambridge, past Norwich even, out to sea. The total number of casualties? Unimaginable. And that's one bomb. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for a new position. AB cites two safety incidents and asks committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident is cause for immediate concern. No need to raise panic in difficult atmosphere. 
calls on FH to clarify incidents. FH agrees not of immediate concern. AB raises point that lack of trust in bunker hierarchy is causing morale issues. More clarity and openness needed. CB reiterates appointed hierarchy and his belief that no need for additional officer. If any critical incident comes to light, all will be made aware. Requests end to meeting as urgent business to attend to. AB calls for vote on appointment of morale officer. CB says vote will be ignored. Not a democracy. Meeting ended. I just need to know. It's all right, Vera. Nonsense! I know George is trying to hide things from me. I'm ill, Evelyn. I'm not stupid. I'm right, aren't I? I don't know what to say. I suppose he's just not it's sure. Radiation! Why is he trying to hide it? Why? Am I on the right medicine? What could be done? Why won't he say? George has been distracted lately. Maybe he's just trying not to upset everyone. They should be upset. They built this place in six weeks. Six weeks! How can anyone expect it to be safe? There must be a leak. There must be. Mr. Bishop says I that it's... I know what he says. He doesn't want everyone to panic. Silly old Vera having another one of her turn... <coughs> Locate replacement fuse. Locate replacement fuse. Here's the replacement. That's the damaged one. That's the damaged one. I need to turn the power off. I should turn the power off first.
it wasn't there before. Please be okay, please be okay. Alright, I'm going to take a break. Um, I assume it's saved here. Uh, I hope things pick up. It's, I assume something's down. That noise, I don't know. It's a bit slow going so far. I uh, kind of thought it would be a bit of a faster pace, but I'll... Uh, I'm going to still continue to see what happens. Uh, if it looks like something you like, check it out, The Bunker, and I'll be back with more. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.